Moving to Monday's Daily Mail now, Lewis, and with a, a new trend for taking alcohol out of dating. At least your dates won't have to obtain a fake ID now, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> She's over 30. Now? Now, <laughs> now she is. Would you, you know, would you stop mentioning my personal business on this thing? Well, we should stop being my friend, then. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably happened. <laughs> Anyway, according to the Daily Mail, it's going teetotal, which is, means not drinking. It's one of those words. And the new dating trends. And it says, according to the Daily Mail, the younger generation are ditching alcohol on the first date. And it, according to TikTok, is like sober dating. People are dating. The fact is, is that women today are so slaggy. They don't need alcohol to get oh drunk God. and have... They're going to be on your no, show. No, you're going to say that word. I'm not going to repeat the I word. Can, I can I say, is that word a bad word? Yeah, yeah, it's a bad word, and it's misogynistic, and it's it horrible. Isn't. All right, and the guys, no, because guys have always been slaggy, but there's a sort of a... Because guys would go out to have it's sex. It's the kind of doubling down that's not going to help your case. All right, yeah. I apologise. I want to I want to. Josh, any take on this, drinking? It is tricky. Yeah. Like, think, of our age group, you have to drink on our dates. Our species but, is going to die yeah. out. I'm genuinely scared if we could, if we're not doing the drinking thing. But yeah. also, I wonder how soon it's going to be before what they're called. They're called they're called the sober curious movement. Yeah. And I wonder how soon it'll be before they're part of the LGBTQIA alliance. Yeah, that's demanding they're, that they're, they're be part treated. Of us, like, yeah, we, we yeah we are. You don't understand yeah. what it's like with some of those persecuted group. It's like what it, we're so focused all the time and we're not fuzzy brain yeah. and whatever. But. Um, yeah, they're talking about... They, also, it says that it's good. The advantage is that you, you get to know someone's real personality as opposed to their drunk personality, which is why I have to be drunk at home because I'm very much afraid <laughs> that my wife might that discover she's get to know. who I really am. And, and the thing is, is that, is that the price of alcohol has gone through the roof. Oh, so yeah, that's a major yeah, thing. Yeah. But you know what? You know what I want to just say out there? That I have just released, that we've just released, mm. the 2024 calendar, the Lewis Schaefer, the I, Lewis Schaefer, meat and eggs edition of a calendar. It's... It's 12 pages. It's available. Selling, 12 pages. selling calendars in May. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unusual technique. You know What's what? the price, Lewis? No, no one cares about it. No one cares about the little thing on the bottom here. They just care about the pictures of Lewis Schaefer. Okay. I'll tell you what, the problem is, a lot of yeah. the people who might want to um, subscribe to you know, your fan base might not believe we'd still be around in 2024. So that's quite a, <laughs> quite a search. Because that's why they should purchase it right now. And, yeah. and, and you can go to my... Go to, uh, you know, Twitter, the place you're sending to, the complaints. Or go to lewisschafer.co.uk, my okay. new website. And I want to thank Lucy Harmon up in Nottingham for making this yeah. thing. It is so funny. Is there anybody else you want to thank, Lewis? Yeah, do you want to... <laughs> no, no, seriously. Wait, no, 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 genuinely. Is play? there anyone else you want to thank? I want to thank... It was one of the, Wrong. Was some, no, I'm going to thank you. Thank you. I'm there we you. go. We got you. Because you said this would make an amazing metro. calendar. Thank you. Okay. And then she took the board. Josh. Okay.